Hello and welcome to La Vida Football. My name is Luis Laureano. I am a UEFA B license coach. This is video number 10 for the small sided game series. This is a 6v6 small sided game focused on encouraging wide play. So the way we set it up is we use most of one half of the field from the halfway line to the top of the box is the length of the field. The width is basically the whole width of the half. I made it a little bit shorter just because with five versus five inside this playing space, we don't need the entire half to play wide. So you can choose to use the entire width of the half, but I chose to use a little bit less. So next. In the setup, we have three goals. So we have the two red ones on the wings and then the blue one in the center. Okay, so we do want to play wide. So that's why we have goals on the wide areas. And the way one scores is by dribbling the ball through the goals. Okay, so that's how the goals are scored. This goes also in the middle. The game is actually five versus five. The goalkeepers are just there essentially to restart the game. They are following the game because they could be used as a form of playing out of pressure if for example green is pressuring high then black can play back to the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper can restart wide and then building from there okay so the goalkeepers are there for possession they are there to assist but they're not really playing as goalkeepers okay this is why this game is six versus six because the goalkeepers are there to play but they are essentially playing to support and to restart the game okay so how do they restart the game well if the ball goes out so let's say green tries to dribble here and there's pressure from the outside so instead of dribbling the black team takes a heavy touch and it goes through the goals then that is not a point but that is an opportunity now for green to build out the back and then the goalkeeper would essentially build from the back and restart the game it would be good to have balls next to the goalkeepers so that the goalkeepers can restart the game as soon as possible after a goal is scored it'll be good for the goalkeepers to have a ball to play out and and to restart the game okay so that is the task of the goalkeepers so now again this small sided game is to encourage wide play so there will be times where the game is being played and the players tend to you know become attracted to the ball and they all seem to bunch up in one space once that happens you freeze the game and you show the players that they are close to each other when there is a whole lane of space on the outside okay so when green has the ball here in this particular situation this player we will ask okay well where is your position where could you be so then they would say okay yeah, i can be a, a bit farther back and the forward is in a good position because if they are to get the ball they would just lay it off and then this player can essentially dribble and then either try to dribble one-on-one -on -one or try to play back to the outsides to one of these two players okay so the forward is in a good position but they are covered so we could encourage the forward to get to that position so that the defender has a little bit more work so instead of starting in this position they can start a little bit farther out and then making their way so that their timing is a little bit better so that they have a little bit more space when they get the ball and so that they have a better view of the field by starting a little bit farther back okay so these are things that we would want to encourage okay now another thing so let's say black has the ball and and they have a tendency of scoring on the top right goal now that is good because we want them and we want to encourage the wide play however we do want to remind them that there are two other goals and this could also happen that the team wants to score in the center right where the blue goals are it's possible that they try to force their way into the middle just because it, it seems more realistic to score in the middle so now as a coach you can open all three goals you can close one goal you can close two goals at any given point you can also use the goalkeepers in a different way right so it, let's say you want to close all three goals and have the goal be to send a cross to the goal goalkeeper so dribble through the entire width of the field and then kick to the goalkeeper so that could also be something that you do as a coach for the setup again we want to encourage wide play we want to encourage switching the ball to the other side and these are all things that we want to encourage now for this particular game you could add offsides but i would encourage to do that as the game progresses so as the as the players get used to the game and they start getting comfortable with using the width of the field and they're having a lot more comfort building 
and playing and scoring, then we can add offsides rule, right? But then the opposite could happen as well. It could be that the players are having trouble building and scoring. So if that happens, we can add a neutral player and essentially the neutral player would be an all-time offensive player, meaning whoever has the ball, the neutral player is on that team. So then the game inside the grid becomes a six versus five. Okay, that is only again, if it becomes a little bit too difficult to score or to even play out or to get scoring opportunities, then we can add a neutral player to create a numerical advantage so that players have a little bit more opportunity to, to create scoring chances. So I would start without the neutral player just to see how it goes. And then if it works out without the neutral player, then, then you are fine. Of course, this also depends on how many players you have. If you have an uneven number of players, then of course you can adjust it and adapt it to the number of players that you have. But like I said, I would try to do even numbers just so that it is difficult, it is challenging, and so that the players get comfortable moving into a good position so that they essentially find solutions by using the entire pitch that is available. Okay, so that is the small sided game. Five versus five, two goalkeepers that restart the game that are there to help with the buildup. And again, the focus is encouraging wide play. We have three goals and as a coach, you can eliminate the goals depending on what you see. Another thing, again, is the offsize rule. First, start without it, see how the players adapt. And once the players get a hang of the exercise, then you can start adding the rules or restrictions. You can add a one touch rule, two touch rule, whatever it is to make it a little bit more difficult. But again, start a little bit more free, allow the players to try to figure the game out, make sure that they are spreading out using the width of the field. And when this happens, then of course you can add the rules. But again, if the players have trouble, then you add a neutral player and then that neutral player can, be, can become an all offensive player to, to offset the difficulty so that during the attack there is a numerical advantage and the players feel a little bit more comfortable getting wide so that there are more scoring opportunities. So that is it for this small sided game. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe and kick that like button because that helps this channel grow. And also if you have any suggestions for videos, comment that in the comment section below and I'll be happy to provide you guys with a video of your liking. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.